Hey, so welcome. Today I wanted to share my binaural mic. It's the 3DIO FX FS XLR mic. It is uh, a mic that has these two silicon ears. There's um, omni-channel, omnidirectional mics on inside the ear canal, and it's supposed to simulate uh, what human ears would hear. So it gives you that ASMR uh, special effect. This mic uh, is designed for two XLR ports. It's at the bottom here. And so in this spot right here, I will be plugging in my two XLR cables. So it takes two cables. You got to record a left channel and a right channel. And when you bring it into your editing software, what you do is you'll push uh, the pan to one side for one ear, pan to the other side for the other ear. And then when you listen to it with headphones, it'll create this weird special effect. So let's do a little bit of setup and then we will get into the editor and we'll actually edit this video. So let's uh, get it plugged in. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in one cable on this side. And you just got to push it hard to make sure it snaps in. And I'm going to record it today with my Mix Pre 3. Uh, this is the Mark II device. Uh, you can actually use any kind of recorder that can record at least a minimum of two channels. So I'm going to plug this into channel one. There's one channel and here's my second cable. Okay. Make sure it snaps in and I got my second cable. And since I have this displayed on my desk, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll make this look a little bit neater, uh, just for a little bit while we do the setup, I'm going to plug this into channel three and this device is actually powered by, let's see if we can put this nice device out here. A little bit of cable management so I don't have stuff all over the place. And there's the setup. So it's a pretty basic rudimentary mic. There's not much to do. There's a power option in case you want to use the internal power. Uh, but I'm using XLR cables, so I'm going to get phantom power coming from this device here. And there's a bass roll off, on, off, flat. So I'm keeping on the flat profile for now. Let's get things powered up. The uh, AAA sled is atrocious for power. You can get about an hour at most. And so I use uh, just an anchor battery bank and I'll plug this into my mix pre three. So there we have it. There's the setup. So let's uh, power it on. I'm going to power this USB device on, turn on the mix pre three and you have two channels over there and let's make sure that we are recording. So you'll see uh, both of these channels are recording. Um, they're armed right now, meaning it's actually picking up my talking and it's recording. So if I'm snapping on this side, you'll see that it's peaking on one side and not the other. So in this case, it's peaking right here. And so that means that this ear is representing this channel and this ear is going this channel. And I may have it backwards. It doesn't matter when I get into my software, I'm going to do the panning. So I'll figure that out later. But for now, this is going to act just as the recorder. So I will maybe just leave it out this way. So you all can see uh, the recording happening. So right now we're getting audio from my Electrovoice RE20. So let's switch to this device. So three, two, one. Okay, so now I should be back into the 3D IO binaural mic. And this is just a mic. And so if I whisper into this ear or this ear and I create different sounds, uh, this is a case where I don't want to be doing anything interesting. At the same time right now, I got another I got my GH5 going right here. This is my TikTok. Hey everyone, just make sure that you turn on your, put on your headphones because right now I'm recording using my binaural mic. Come check out my channel because in this channel I'm going to be going over some of my gear that I have here. This mic lets me talk from different angles and depending on where I'm speaking, it will appear as if I'm speaking to you. So let me turn this around to make sure that we have everything in the right orientation. And so in this case, I am speaking head on to a person and it's as if I'm creepily talking and I'm going to just gently tap the ears a little bit. And that's part of the, this whole online ASMR. But the other use of this is if we are telling stories and I can lean back and it will simulate the appearance of not just always having a booming sound like with this mic right here but it will be almost as if you and I were in a room talking, having a conversation, and you can hear me from different angles. 
And so if I actually get up and I'm moving around, you can now hear that my voice is moving around the space. It is really hot up here, so I'm going to go turn on a fan. And, and so normally in a recording video, we would actually try to isolate and remove all the sounds. And so I wanted to kind of create different sounds so you can hear things from different directions and this mic is actually going to be picking it up. So I got the lighter here. Okay. Should be sounding like it's coming from behind you. And this is in front of you. To your right and to your left. A little beaker in this space. And so it should be a little creepy. So I'm going to go turn off this mic over here. <clears throat> okay. So is it creepy? What do you think? Um, and let me know, I'm curious if that fan is going to be incredibly obnoxious or not. But if you and I were in a room up here and it were really hot, we'd have that fan going. We wouldn't be turning and isolating all that space. So one of the downsides of a studio kind of production is you get away from reality. Right? You get away from all that ambient sound. And we are now talking just as if things are... Um, it, it's just too much of an, a sterilized environment. So with this mic here, uh, and what I could actually, what I should be doing is I should be moving that mic closer to where the camera is, so that you'll you'll simulate the field of view of human being and the hearing of a human being. Now the reason I got this Vazen 40 millimeter uh, anamorphic lens is it kind of simulates kind of a, the human eye, wider field. You're going to be focusing on the center point over here, a little bit of distortion on the edges. And also at the same time, you'll be hearing and seeing things kind of in different directions over here. So everyone, this is the 3DIO FS, FS XLR mic. Uh, it's an awesome mic. I've been playing around with it. It's very sensitive, so you probably can't just roughhouse it like uh, my other mics. So I'm going to be building in the near future just a little portable rig where I'll mount it all into one tripod unit so I can carry the mixer, the mic, the power, and the camera all configured kind of in the same plane where a head would be and kind of create a first person point of view uh, really for the purpose of storytelling to kind of create a more immersive feeling. There's podcasts coming from different companies like iHeartRadio that's doing 3D podcasts and so I figured let's do a 3D vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, so welcome back to the edit desk. I uh, switched over to a different camera, so we're going to have a little aspect ratio change. But uh, I'm now in the fi Final Cut Pro. I have uh, Mix Pre 3. Let's see. I got a track one and a track two. So I'm going to turn off the mix tracks. And uh, so I'm in track one. I'm not sure if there's a smarter mode uh, way to do this, but I typically just kind of do trial and error. So I'm going to do stereo left, right. And I'm going to pan one track all the way. And I got the other one, track three, which is the other side. So